Hi, my name is Bob Greenier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So this is one of the more interesting things uh, that we have found in the uh, materials of lion and it is, it would appear, a pre-World War I spark gap radio transmitter. And <clears throat> it is made by uh, W. Ladd and Co, 11 and 12 Beak Street, Regent Street, uh, West and this label it would appear is in ivory the box is in fine teak with your dovetail joints at the edge there it's a thing of great beauty I think there is um, <clears throat> a capacitor under here uh, is the modern name for it and it builds up charge uh, that I think is supplied from a power supply that goes into here and this is a switch and again it looks like probably this is ivory as well and you don't touch the middle bit you touch the outside and turn it on and off it looks like it's got a piece of ebony or bakelite probably most likely bakelite something like that there um maybe that dates it even and there's a kind of brass uh, fitting here with a screw that goes through to the brass on the other side and vice versa from uh, this side through to the other side and so when you rotate it from this position to this position it uh, joins the uh, current through here and maybe that charges up this inductor and there is something uh, where you can adjust the spark gap here um, so on and then on the top it has the two contacts with the spark gap and i don't know if it's clear but uh, if i can get in and see this is it going to allow me to zoom in on this maybe if i go like that i'm going to do that right you can see the two contacts there and they have got a lot of impact marks by sparks now the first thing is the insulation here is in co uh, cotton thread so this is pre-PVC or rubber uh, insulation and it has the original wires on here and so you can see that there's been a lot of sparks going on with that so it's been actively used in its history and so what I would like to do is to SEM the ends of these wires because this would be some of the first man-made evos on earth their impact marks and it would be something quite special to investigate and again there's a lead down here which goes all the way around uh, and is attached to this central area down here so there's various things that allow you to adjust this is kind of maybe allowing the, the adjust the return there and stuff so I'd like your opinion on this. Uh, can we date it more precisely? Uh, what are the materials most likely to be being used? But this is, thing is, is actually a huge museum piece, it has to be said. Um, this is something rather special. Again, all these, everything looks handmade. Um, these contacts, these contacts, it's a thing of great beauty. Thank you very much, Lion.